it's a Cindy Leach, your polymer clay tutor, and this is the introduction video to my paid tutorial series, Liquid Polymer Clay Transfer Techniques. Now in this tutorial you're going to learn some really cool um, ideas that will help you take any type of paper, including scrapbooking, decorative papers, uh, magazines, pages from books, and even photocopies and some liquid polymer clay such as uh, translucent liquid sculpey or, or Cato poly clay liquid and make all kinds of really cool translucent sheets with a polymer clay with images on them and we can use these sheets to make projects such as um, this journal cover here which is made with polymer clay and one of these sheets you can also make thin little um, decal type items like this little gnome that I've put added to this journal page here. I also will show you how to use the pieces in projects like these little butterfly embellishments, these beautiful delicate earrings here that are just lighter than a feather. You can also die cut this material and layer it like I have in this piece where I've added resin to one layer, glitter to another, and inks and things to this layer. It's, it's wonderfully versatile. I can also use pieces of the die cut on pro jewelry projects like this where these little flowers are the image transfer technique and they're embedded into um, some clay that's in a bezel. I'm also going to show you how you can do a technique that is called faux encaustic. Now encaustic is a, um, a mixed media technique where you're using layers of papers and inks and um, paintings and things layered with real beeswax. Well we're going to do a full version of that that has um, all kinds of texture and layering. I've also got a little bookmark here where I've used the full encaustic technique with um, a real postage stamp. So I think you're just going to love this tutorial and I will see you in the next video of this series.